Your Massachusetts real estate market update for January 9th, 2023. So as always, we're gonna talk about the single family and the condo market for the first week of 2023. Interest rates, we got some great news to talk about here. And then we're gonna take a look at some awesome news on the real estate market as we head into that spring market. And as always, we're gonna do a quick check-in with the distressed property levels in Massachusetts. And we have the new, a new luxury property that was listed in Massachusetts. So we're going to head to Beacon Hill and just take a look. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent that sold more than a thousand houses and I'm one of the state's top agents. And if you like hearing about the Massachusetts real estate market, then be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. But let's jump into the single family market. There were 3,402 single family homes on the market. So inventory increased. And this is really great news for buyers as inventory levels, they were starting to get uncomfortably tight, quite frankly. So now take a look at the year-over-year -year inventory chart. And as you can see, that year-over-year, -year, we had some inventory growth this week. We now have 1,196 more houses on the market than we did this time last year. And this is up from last week's 1,107. Now, this is interesting because compared to the last two years, inventory actually continued to decline in January. So this is something that we're going to keep our eye on. Now, do keep in mind that, well, we live in New England. So a lot of the inventory growth and sales, they revolve around the weather. It's a pretty mild winter so far, so this is some great news for the real estate market. Now, if we get a couple weeks of snow where we uh, get some storms over the weekend, then that will bring everything to a complete halt. We had 608 new listings come on the market this week. Now, look, I love to see the new inv inventory, and to put this uh, 608 number in perspective, we had 631 properties listed this week last year. We had 482 houses go under agreement this week, and this is compared to the 545 houses that that went under agreement in the same week last year. So that's about a 12% decrease in that under agreement uh, sales over year over year sales activity. Now, there were 421 homes that sold last week for an average sales price of $637,000 and a median sales price of $500,000 and months of inventory. This is how we gauge what type of market we're in. Ultimately, zero to five months is considered a seller's market with the closer to zero you get, the more aggressive of that seller's market. Now this week, months of inventory, it ticked up to 1.11 months. This is around 1.05 months last week. So the inventory levels are still very tight. Now properties that are priced right and in good condition, they're selling and they're doing it pretty quickly. So we need to keep our eyes on that. Now onto the condo market, we had 1,792 condos that were on the market as of Monday. Just like in the single family market inventory, it increased in the condo market. Now from the year over year chart, you can see that this increase is a little different than years prior where we ultimately continued to see inventory declines in the winter months. Now year over year, a buyer looking at condos today has 283 more units to look at than the same time last year. And this is up from the 239 units last week. So good news for buyers. Now, 329 newly listed condos came on the market last week. And this is great week for inventory. We had 344 units come on the market during the same week last year. So inventory levels were only off about 4%. 230 condos went under agreement last week. Again, comparing it to the same week last year, we had 274 condos go under agreement. So that means we were off by about 16%. 195 properties closed last week with an average sales price of 678 thousand dollars and that median sales price of four hundred and sixty five thousand dollars now last week the average sales price was 487 so it looks like we had a bounce back and that week was ultimately just an outlier months of inventory it increased this week to 1.56 months from last week's 1.47 months do you like hearing about what's going on in the massachusetts real estate market then smash that like button and please consider subscribing it makes a big difference to those youtube gods let's talk mortgages this was a great week for mortgages Rates dropped with some products dropping nearly a half percent. Now, a question everyone should be asking is why are rates dropping when the jobs report came out so strong? It's because the jobs report, well, it wasn't as strong as those headline numbers of adding 223,000 jobs really led you on. That job growth really came from part-time jobs, while the full-time job sector actually lost 1,000 jobs. So the report also showed that wage growth 
it was cooling. Now, these are positives to the inflation hawks out there, which makes them believe the Fed's going to stop that accelerator, jamming on the accelerator. We have the consumer price index numbers coming out this Thursday, so we got to keep our eye on uh, for that. But let's focus on the good. Mortgage rates, they're approaching four-month lows. Rates are going in the right direction when it comes to helping support the real estate market. Really great news. And speaking of supporting the real estate market, check this article out. Home buyer sentiment ticks up again on signs of market top. Now let's grab some pool quotes from this article. Home buyer sentiment ticked up slightly for the second month in a row in December as consumers began coming around to the views of economists that home prices and mortgage rates probably peaked last year. Yes, when you look at the graph, it is a minor improvement, but you know what? I'm going to take any improvement I can get. Now, the article also states that economists at the mortgage giant don't expect annual home price declines to exceed 1.5% at the national level. But some local markets are expected to see sharper declines, while others could continue to see price is appreciate. Now, I'm not going into my predictions of flat home prices for 2023 all over again, but I do have a video specifically on my 2023 uh, prediction for home prices, sales inventory levels, and interest rates, which I'm going to link at the description as well as put at the top of the screen there. Guys, this is some good news. I'm really starting to think that the darkest days of the market are, are really behind us. Now, on to foreclosures. Accounting for all single family condos as well as multifamily properties in Massachusetts, there are currently 127 foreclosures for sale. And there are currently 25 short sale properties for sale, giving us a total of a whopping 152 distressed properties currently on the market in the state of Massachusetts. So available distressed inventory increased by 11 units this week, and the percentage of distressed properties to available inventory continues to increase and is now at 2.57% of all available in inventory in Massachusetts. I still don't believe this is anything to worry about. The higher percentage increase is thanks just to those low traditional uh, inventory levels. Now, and cheers to our first luxury segment of 2023. I'm personally really excited to have the luxury segment back. I like it. Um, and also to start with such a great spot. Now, this is the first time this Beacon Hill penthouse has ever been on the market since it was constructed in 2018. The property is located at 75 Beacon Street and is four bedrooms, four and a half bath home that spans 4,135 square feet. Now, the square footage actually spans three floors and has a private entry all pair suite. Now, the private elevator takes you directly up to the spacious chef's kitchen with marble counters, wolf, and sub-zero appliances that connects to the large dining area. The views of the public garden are spectacular. There are two private roof decks and head house that make it an exceptional home for entertaining. The front de deck even has an outdoor fireplace, ED, and jacuzzi, plus two heated garage parking spaces and a private gym or could be a guest suite space. Now, the seller is currently asking $13.995 million. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs, my information, it's in the description below. I always love talking about real estate. And whether you're looking to buy or sell a home in the next nine or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you and find out a little bit more about your real estate goals and see if I can help in any way. Questions or comments about any of this market data, then drop me a line in that comment section below. Look, you take the time to watch the video, so I'm always going to take the time to answer. Now, as, and now, as I always say, an informed person, they're a powerful person. So until next time.